So proper free feeding of the brain is very important. The next thing that we've learned is that this excitotoxic process can also be changed by our diet. If you're eating a diet that contains a lot of excitotoxin additives, like MSG, aspartame, and uh, various other food additives that are known to be excitotoxic, it increases this excitotoxic damage to your brain and makes you much more vulnerable to damage by these excitotoxins and free radicals. We also know that even simple short-term exposure to these excitotoxins can produce inflammation and free radical generation in the brain that can last for very long periods of time, even decades. Most American diets contain a lot of these excitotoxin additives. They can appear as hydrolyzed vegetable protein, soy extract, soy isolate proteins, uh, carrageenan, so it's disguised in many, many names, and we're consuming tons of this every year. So one way to reduce excitotoxicity is to increase our intake of particular nutrients and follow a good diet. Now, the nutrients that are known to reduce excitotoxicity include DHA, pyruvate, mixed B vitamins, CoQ10, alpha-lipoic acid, transferulic acid, transresveratrol, and many of the mitochondrial stimulants uh, such as vitamin K. Now, we've also learned that when you do increase the mitochondrial's uh, ability to produce more energy, that reduces excitotoxicity. Uh, what increases the ability of these mitochondria to produce energy includes riboflavin 5-phosphate, uh, pyridoxal 5-phosphate, vitamin K, thiamine, nicotinic acid, peruvic acid, L-carnitine, coenzyme Q10, and alpha-lipoic acid. So you get a dual effect of reducing the excitotoxicity and increasing and protecting your mitochondria. And the increase in the mitochondria's ability to produce energy can be quite substantial. We also know that one of the problems with aging is inflammation. As we grow older, our brains and our bodies become progressively more inflamed. By the time we reach age 75, that inflammation can become quite significant. Inflammation increases free radical generation in the brain. For instance, at age 75, the number of free radicals being generated is 10 times higher than when we're younger and the free radicals in our mitochondria is 15-fold higher than when we're younger. So we see that this can have a profound influence. And as I said, the thing that we know that increases brain inflammation is a high intake of the omega-6 fats. This includes corn oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, peanut oil, soybean oil, and even canola oil. These oils have been shown to not only increase brain inflammation, but increase the risk of such diseases as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. 